Newton's first law states that an object continues in its state of rest or uniform velocity until a non-zero net force acts on it. Now there are two important aspects of this definition that help to explain the concept. The first one is the state of motion, which they have defined here as either a state of rest or of uniform velocity. So what this tells us is it tells us that when the net force acting on an object is zero, as it says here, until a non-zero net force acts on an object, that implies that the current net force is zero. So what they're saying is that when the net force acting on an object is zero, there are two options for the motion of an object. The first is the one that we all understand very well. This is the option of an object that is on the ground. We know that while that object is on the ground, there's a force of gravity pulling it downward, but we know that the ground exerts a normal force upward on that object, and therefore the net force on that object is zero, and we can then safely say that object is not moving. The second one is slightly less intuitive, but essentially this is for an object traveling at a constant velocity. So we know that when you're in a car, and the car is traveling at a constant velocity of 120 kilometers per hour, we know that there's a force of gravity pulling it downward, there's a normal force pulling it upward. We know that the engine is applying a force that pushes the car forward, and we know that there's also friction of the tires and friction or a drag force that holds it back. But we know that the force that the engine is applying forward is equal to the frictional force and the drag force that's holding it back, which is why the velocity remains the same. So all that Newton's first law tells us is it just says that for as long as the net force acting on an object is zero, it will either travel at a constant velocity or it will remain at rest, which we can also simplify to just say the velocity of an object at rest is zero. It is very important when writing this definition to specify that it is a net force acting on the object because we can very clearly see that there are a number of forces acting on both of these objects and that has no impact on the state of motion. The impact is had or made by the net force specifically.